Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna take a close look at what I think is the best CPU for your money right now. Meet AMD's new 6-core Ryzen 5 2600, the non-X version. Right now the 2600 costs about 190 US dollars, a similar yet a little cheaper CPU by Intel, namely the i5-8400, I also happen to have tested, can be picked up for just $10 less right now, so $180. But what you guys probably want to know is whether or not the Ryzen 5 2600 is worth your money. What kind of improvements were made over the last generation? Let's take a look. Unlike the 2700X of the Ryzen 7 family, this Ryzen 5 non-X variant only comes with the not-so-beefy Wraith Stealth stock cooler by AMD. But hey, at least it's something, right? Compared to the 2600's predecessor, the 1600, we are getting a little bit of a boost in clock speed with 2nd gen Ryzen. The manufacturing process has improved as well, so did the memory controller. And surprisingly, the TDP of 65 watts remains unchanged. Something that that is not the case with the 2700X when compared with the 1700X. New chipsets such as X470 and B450 apparently offer full support of those new refined features XFR2 and Precision Boost 2. However, the Ryzen 2000 series is totally backwards compatible with first gen motherboards such as X370 and B350. However, make sure the BIOS is updated to the latest one before installing such a new 20 18 CPU. For the sake of showcasing the max performance with the latest and greatest features, I'll go ahead and will pop my 2600 into the MSI X470 Gaming Pro Carbon Board and yes, I'll be going with G-Skill 3200 MHz memory. I was curious on how much of an effect XFR2 has here, so I tested with an AIO liquid cooler and the included stock cooler Wraith Stealth. And while there are slight differences in terms of clock speeds across all cores at full load, those few megahertz more or less hardly make any real difference. But now let's get to the benchmarks. Now right away I gotta applaud AMD here for being able to deliver such a nice performance boost considering this more or less is just a refresh of the first generation of Ryzen. All in all we do see some improvements in the frame rate in games too. Not necessarily much so an upgrade from a 1600 or so wouldn't make any sense but in terms of multicore performance there are some pretty significant ones. After all when comparing all CPUs at stock speeds the 2600 is getting pretty damn close to the i7-8700K in aspects, like rendering for instance. Even though in terms of pricing it's not the target leak. The i5-8400 or 8600K 6 core is meant to compete with the Ryzen 5 2600. And rendering wise, those i5 SKUs stand no chance against that particular Ryzen 5. Especially not when looking at the i5-8400, which unlike Ryzen does not come with an unlocked multiplier. 
And yeah, definitely count on me doing an overclocking video with a short guide. I'll show you how I overclocked my 2600 in just a matter of a few minutes. So if you're into that, make sure to not miss my video on that subject. Gaming wise, though, Intel still clearly takes the lead, even with those i5 models. But Ryzen 5 is getting incredibly close in those 1080p tests. In theory, however, Intel remains the winner in the vast majority of game titles. With a decent cooling solution, temperatures are of absolutely no concern. If you decide to use the included Wraith Stealth by AMD, be prepared for higher temperatures and sometimes higher noise levels. I reached into the early 70s with the stock cooler. The power consumption dropped by a few watts on idle, but did grow a little on load. The power efficiency is looking good here, though. And last but not least, memory stability issues are a thing of the past, finally. I just set my RAM to run at 3200MHz in BIOS and boom, boots just fine and no crashes whatsoever. So right now for the money, one of the very best if not the best CPU to go for if you care a lot about price to performance ratio. At least that's my opinion. Even though Intel has some good offerings as well, still I'd go with AMD this time around, even for gaming. I can definitely recommend this AMD Ryzen 5 2600 and it's no surprise I'm giving it my gold award. And yeah, thanks for watching.